So, hello there guys, uh, I'm playing something a little bit different today. Well, I'm going to be starting, uh, probably, in, well, I haven't really got much time at the moment, so, yes, I'm going to be starting the Europa Barbarum, Barbarum 2 mod for Medieval Total War uh, Kingdoms. Medieval Total War 2 Kingdoms, that's it. And I believe I'm going to play um, Epirus. Now, Epirus, the mainland, as it translates, the home of the wintry Dodon. The famed Mausolean Hound, Mausolean? Mos, Mos, Molossian Hound, and of course, Pyrrhus. Now, Pyrrhus of Epirus was amazing. He uh, basically was one of the... I, I think he was. He, well, he was definitely in charge, like Pyrrhus of Epirus. He was in charge of the battle against the Roman Republic. I think it was the first, like, actual sort of battle against, um... Well, it was like, I think it was the first sort of battle between the uh, Roman Republic's armies and the Macedonian uh, phalanxes, so that was interesting. Um, the battle uh, went to the Greeks at first, but yeah, the Roman Republic could replace any losses taken, and they had so many more men than the Greeks did at the time. So, yeah. Right, okay. So put this on hard. Well, I guess we'll put it on very hard, very hard. Um, radio. Right, long or short. We'll go with long then, okay. Oh, wow. That was actually really cool. I can't remember that. That was badass. Okay. <coughs> right to you. When it loads. Oh, there we go. Danger gleams like sunshine to a man's brave eyes. Euripides. Ugh. There's so many of the like books and these guys I really want to get. Okay. Select a potential successor. You may select a potential successor by following the instructions below. The potential successor will have an ex heir. excellent chance, excellent chance to become the faction heir if the current heir dies or becomes faction leader. To designate a potential successor, click at set. The roster window will appear showing all your family members and generals. Right or left click the portrait of the family member you would like to designate as potential successor. Okay. Right. Oh my god, we're playing Pyrrhus of Epirus! Yes! I fucking love this guy. He's so badass. You guys really need to, like, look out. Like, look at his history. It was amazing. Okay. Um, hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. But totally mouse. Mouse. Except he should now be designated air or something like that, probably. He'll be there or something. Right, so let's take a look at our situation. God, it's, it's so strange playing this game, isn't it, compared to, like, Attila or something. Okay. So, we have, um, Tarantium. Well, the lands that would have been Tarantium. Tarantium was, like, this kind of area around here. Okay, so what do we have here, then? We have, um, Hoplitae... Yeah, Hoplitae. Equitae Sibilia. Ah, Hastati Sibilia. Can't swim, Joblin's friend before charge, interesting. Million. Okay. Uh, what do we have in the actual town itself? We have a wooden wall, that's not really too good. Strategic fortifications. Interesting. Uh, that would be for farming. Hmm. Oh, this is something where they would have, like, funeral games and stuff like that, yeah. The Field of Games. Um, that would destroy the goat. Uh, goat raid? <laughs> yeah, it's the goat raid. Mm. Okay. Actually, there's not really that much difference, so we might as well have this so we can actually have some growth going on here. What do we have here? Public order due to happiness. Public order due to happiness. And public order... Ooh, diagnosis. Di diagnosis. Population growth bonus. That is quite significant. So we have 10,000 denarii. And we're calling it a denarii? What are we calling it? Let's call it denarii. I can't remember the name for the money that the Greeks would use. And the game was always bloody different. Okay. 
Uh, right, so we'll go ahead and we'll recruit a Hellenistic Phalanx. Actually, actually, no, we'll go with a spy and then we'll go with the Hellenistic Phalanx. <clears throat> Excuse them. What? My throat is pretty dry. Uh, but I do have coffee. Coffee is king. Right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start the construction of the farm. It will take the longest anyway, so we might as well start it. Uh, yeah, they're not happy here at all. We'll build the roads first, so we can have uh, faster movement between our provinces, which is very important. Same here. Yeah, we'll just put the um, tax rate down so we can actually have some growth. There's really not any reason to stagnate. Okay, so... Um, Historically, this is what well actually happened. Like uh, Pedros of Pyrus would um, go into um, Macedonian lands and basically raid every now and then. Um, he used to, he was a fantastic warrior. He, he was fantastic. Um, basically, what would happen is it happened quite a few times where the Macedonian soldiers would look at Pedros of Pyrus and be like, "Oh damn, that guy's amazing!" So they'd join his army. It, it happened a hell of a lot. Right, we have a Macedonian... Okay. I wish we had a spy. A spy would have been fantastic. Right, we'll put the... Ooh. Train increases. Ah, there we go. That just took a hell of a long time, apparently. Um... Agents. Oh shit, we do have a spy over here then. Okay. Right, let's go see what the Roman Republic's doing. Oh shit, we're already at war. Ah, uh, fuck. Hmm. Okay, so Pella is undefended. So if we could try and take Pella, that would be quite good. Rebel City of War, okay. Right, yeah. So we are going to have to reinforce the Italian mainland. So I think we should probably start building some more troops. Hmm. Oh, do we want some ships? I'm not too sure. Um, ships would be quite useful. How much would a fleet cost us? Ooh. Okay, so we could afford this Terrarii. Well, Trireme Fleet. Um, but we'll save, I suppose. Well, we could send some troops. We'll send some... Um, these are Levy Hoplites. Right. We'll send this, then. As a something of reinforcement. Okay, so we do have an Epirot... Um, diplomat down here. So let's take a look down here. Can we find the um, Syracuse? Right, so this is a rebel town. Obviously, we don't need to be able to bribe that. Okay. So we'll end the turn there. Um, is the music too quiet? Or too loud? I don't know. I think it's too quiet. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm definitely in the future going to be buying books on this guy. Well, on this period. This is basically like uh, the Diadochi. Is it the Diadochi or Diadochi? Diadochi Wars, I believe. Basically, Alexander the Great has died and like his empire has been split in half. Well, not in half, into many pieces by his um, general. So the successor general, the Diadochi, I think it is. Uh, don't quote me, I'm not too well versed on this period of history, but it's fantastic. Um, I can't remember the exact year, but I think this is 272 BC the game starts, I'm not entirely sure, so don't quote me. Okay. But yeah, um, the map is bloody huge. I mean, like, you look at the size of um, our lands in Greece, and yeah, I think this could be one of those games I would buy to play a lot. I think the older Total Wars just, I don't know, I just think they have a lot better feel to them than the new ones do. Uh, it's, I'm not so sure, it feels more like an empire than anything else. No interface, a treat for those who want to make screenshots, whether for pleasure or... Uh, oh, scroll up, that's pretty cool. 
Right, unit recruitment complete. The Hellenistic Phalanx. Phalangite. Phalangite. Is the standard. Oh, bloody hell. Is the standard soldier of the Diadochioi. Diadochoi? Diadakai. Diadakai. God! Diadacho. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Basically. It's something like that. There okay. you go. Oh, increases the chance of having children. Oh, God. Oh, an exceedingly ugly prostitute. Brilliant. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well. That is interesting. So that is all I've got time for at the moment, and holy shit, we're in debt. My god, we're in debt massively. But we'll be able to fix this. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see this series? Would you like? Would you actually like me to do this series? Would you like something like this? And, yeah, just comment and let me know. And uh, thank you for watching this short one turn intro to this game and this mod so yeah have a fantastic day wherever you are and whatever you're doing and i do apologize once again for not being able to put as many videos as usual but circumstances are turned against me so until then goodbye